Welcome to another Long Crack video. Today we're going to make a platograph. Okay, so I don't know if it's platograph, platograph, I have no idea what it's called, but basically it is uh, what you do, what, what it is, is you take an image and actually turn it into a video. So I think this is super cool. Um, I don't know what other people feel about it. Please let me know in the comments. But I'm going to show you exactly how I did everything from finding this photograph on Instagram, uh, first downloading it because it is uh, not super easy to download an image from Instagram. And I have not checked with Rodney. This is Rodney right here. Um, I will send him a message and send him this video and check with him before posting this. But I don't see what you know why I'd have an issue with it. But I downloaded it with this telephone wire right here, so I wanted to get that out. So in this image right here, you can see I took the telephone wire out, and then this looks very similar to this, this image, but in fact, I hit it with Lightroom and brightened it up a little bit, leveled it out a little bit, and stuff like that. And then I used an app to create the platograph, which creates this uh, effect of the clouds moving. So I think it is so cool and you know I hope you guys do too. So let's get right into how exactly I did all this. Okay so here we are. So I was just browsing my Instagram feed and I saw this in my feed and I was like oh great pick and yeah I put a K in pick. I don't know why but I, was, I couldn't stop thinking about it like not like literally just thinking about it all day but I was like man that's a freaking awesome pick that's perfect to make a platograph with so I was like let me grab it and this took me like literally 12 minutes from start to finish so I, I find the the image so you need to go to the the URL you need this URL up here you go to downloadgram.com and then you're gonna put this URL right in there and the first time you do it, it's going to pop this up. You just get out of that and come back and then boom, download, download the image. And then now you have the image. You're going to have a 1080 by 1080, more than likely image because that's the image file size on Instagram. It's going to be a JPEG, so it's not going to be the highest quality image, but you can work with it. So I took that image and I threw it into Photoshop originally. So let's pull Photoshop open here. And I'll show you how I got rid of those power lines because it was actually very, very easy and I used Content Aware Fill to do it. And it was the first time I actually had any success with Content Aware Fill. So let's just create new. I'm just gonna create this and make a new one up here. So I have my downloaded image right here. So get those lines off. So here we go. We got our image. So what I need to do here is I'm on my polygon tool. I'm going to make a new selection right here and I'm just going to get pretty close to the telephone wire and come right off the edge of the screen and I just want to make a selection that includes the telephone wire and not much else. So now I come up to edit and I go to content aware fill. So what's happening here is this looks pretty good as is but I'm going to go ahead and subtract out this so it's not sampling from this to recreate what should go in there because obviously this truck and all this stuff down here is not what it should be pulling from to content aware fill the area or selection up there so I'll just get rid of all this and boom looks good done now we're gone so I hit control D get rid of my selection and voila so I save this so I save this and then I throw it into Lightroom so I just open Lightroom and let Lightroom open and then I'll come right here I'll browse and here's the file Rodney no wires so I just named it real simple but what I did in here is I just hit it with the auto so I got auto going it's just the simplest quickest way you can edit your uh, images inside of Lightroom and it just applies what it feels is best and then I also came down here and made it level so if it's not level it's just a little bit off and that brings it back you know levels up the truck and some of these telephone lines and stuff like that so it's not 100 percent perfect but it's a little better uh, and then we got a little more color out of the sky and stuff like that and then what i did is i saved this so i just saved to saved it to the, the file where i have all the other files and from this point 
you need to use an app on your phone. So we'll dive back in in one second with the app and a screenshot from my cell phone. Okay, so the app is called Pixeloop, and I am actually on a free version of this. They do have paid versions. I'm not sure what the difference is, but there it is all done. But here we go. So it's going in here. The clouds are moving because I have already done this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. So I put paths in here. So all of these uh, dots with the lines, I the dot is where I press my, my finger down and then I drew up and to the left. So I just drew a line, little lines up and to the left and that's telling the program move these clouds up and to the left. And then I went to anchor right here and these diamonds are my anchors. So the anchors uh, keep it from moving and then to further um, make sure none of this stuff down here moved because it would look ridiculous if the top of the truck was fading up and stuff like that i went to freeze and i froze everything below my anchors and i didn't get the very bottom but it's far enough away from where the the movement is that it doesn't matter so we have a perfect uh platograph in the sense that you know nothing that isn't moving shouldn't be moving and that is really it and to use this app it's really easy if you put two fingers on the screen you can zoom in and zoom out if you just have one um, you're going to be doing whatever you're on so like i'm on freeze right now so if i'm just using one finger i'm adding to the freeze down here on the bottom uh, unfreeze is exactly what it sounds like unfreeze and then you got speed you got all these different little options you can mess around with and stuff like that but it's pretty pretty cool so there it is playing on the screen right there and when you're done with it you simply just save it so up here the top right button with the up arrow and export it save it and that's that so it's really that quick and easy to make something this cool so like i said the first time i ran through it um you know, it took me about 12 minutes from start to finish. So if you are into, you know, making your business just really stand out online, this is a really cool, easy way to do it. You just need a really good photograph like this to begin with and some clouds potentially. And actually, um, if you notice down here, there's uh, something called clouds or sky, and you can put a different sky in a lot of images. So <laughs> look at that, it's crazy. So this is really a uh, really cool little app program here. And yeah, super cool. So even if you didn't have a good sky, you could potentially get one uh, just by doing this and see if you have the pro, then you have all these different options, uh, even better looking clouds and stuff like that. But I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. If, if you do like it, uh, please remember to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. All the links to everything will be down in the description if you want to play around with any of this stuff and happy creating until the next video keep making money